question is, how does the Republican Party do so good? And now I'm going to tell you something that very few people in Congress would tell you. If you are the Republican leadership, and this is what your goals are, your goals are to give huge tax breaks to the very richest people in this country. Your goals are ultimately to privatize Social Security so that Wall Street can make money from that. Privatize Medicare so the insurance companies can make more money. Privatize education. Do away with public schools. If those are your goals and you said that to the American people, you think you get a lot of lower? There are many members of the Congress today, Republicans, who not only will not raise the minimum wage, which is 5.15 an hour, you know what they will tell you honestly? They believe in abolishing the minimum wage. Did you know that? Check it out. Telling you the truth. So that if Americans can work for three bucks an hour or two bucks an hour, not a problem. Now, if you had an agenda like that and you went before the American people, tax breaks for the rich, destruction of Medicare, destruction of Social Security, as we know it, lowering the minimum wage or abolishing it, how many votes did you think you'd get? <laughs> not a whole lot. Maybe the richest 1% would vote for you. That's not a lot of votes. So what do I do? I've got a problem. You package it. How do you package it? And here I want you to pay attention to me. Because this is bad stuff. I don't mind debating people who say, I was on the Hannity show, Sean Hannity yesterday, and, and Hannity, extreme right wing guy, he thinks we should, he loves these tax breaks for the rich and so forth. So we had a little bit of a discussion about that. Actually, it was a loud discussion, as a matter of fact. But I don't mind people who are upfront about that. Okay. Give the rich more tax breaks. But that doesn't win you elections. So this is what you do. What you do is divide people up. When you asked me your question, how do I get elected? I said, I try to bring people together. We fight for women's rights. We support the rights of minorities. We support the rights of workers. We bring the majority of people together. And occasionally, honest people will have differences of opinion. In this room, there will be differences of opinion. But everybody in this room is in agreement that everybody should have health care, right? Question number two, should we increase funding for education or should we lower funding for education? Raise your hand if you think we should increase funding for education. Okay, you're on the side of the vast majority of Americans. Okay. So on those issues, we bring people together. Now, what do the Republicans try to do? And they use it in what we call, uh, you know, kind of language that they don't, not up front about. What do we do? We divide people up by races. Affirmative action becomes one issue. All them black people are getting the jobs that we white people used to have. Split people, working class, white against black. Instead of working together to create decent jobs for all. Those uppity women now, they want the right to choose. We'll split people on the abortion issue. We'll split people up on the gun issue. We'll split people up on religious issues. You follow what I'm saying? So you split people up, and then they end up, if you're a middle class person, voting against your own interests, and the rich go laughing all the way to the bank. Okay? And they very often play white workers off against everybody else. And we try to bring people together to say, look, we're all in this boat together, whether you're black or white, whether you're Hispanic, whether you're Muslim, whatever you may be, everybody needs health care. How do we create a health care system that works for all people? Not divide people up. Everybody knows that the kids, young people, do not make it into the middle class unless they have a decent college education. So how do we make college education accessible to all people? Not an expensive proposition, a tiny, tiny fraction of the president's tax breaks for the rich, if we put into financial aid, would make sure that every young person in this country could go to college without going deeply into debt. You know what, the vast majority of the people support us. But in order to do that, we've got to bring everybody together. And many of these, not all, and I'm not here to disparage all Republicans. I'm very decent people, happen to be conservative. I respect that. But some people who I don't respect, will play off women against men, black against white. Oh, the gay issue, very, very big issue, okay? Straight against gay, right? We're all supposed to hate gay people, so we split that group up. And then the argument, some of us are not patriotic. We had concerns about the war in Iraq. I voted against giving the president authority to the war in Iraq. Well, that makes us unpatriotic. We hate America. Divide those things up. And that's how they succeed. And they succeed with the help of the media because the media will not talk about how, in a sense, the common problems that Americans face and how we bring people together. And that's what I believe. I believe that on issues like everybody in this room thinks, I think, that instead of giving tax breaks to the rich, we should increase federal aid to education. Anyone disagree with that? Well, you know what? Most Americans agree with that. All of you think that every American should be entitled to health care. 
I suspect most of you think we should not have a trade policy which allows corporations to throw American workers out on the street and run to China. Most Americans agree with that. And our job is to bring people together on common interest and some of these extreme right-wing people. You watch the issues that they talk about. Affirmative action they use to divide. The issue of abortion they use to divide. The issue of guns they use to divide. And our job is to say, let's focus on basic economic issues. How do we expand the middle class? This is a great country. Why is it the average American is working longer hours for low wages than 30 years ago? Let's talk about that. Okay? Okay, that was a long answer to a good question. I apologize for going on too long.